Welcome. Hope this read finds you in good spirits and good health. Uh, we got Chantra Seba in the background. Feeling her. Anyways, uh, whatever you need to know is in the description box. It's a general read. If you want a private read, there's links in the description. What else do I need to say? Nothing really. We're going to jump in. Let's find out what the message is. Ooh, who's going to come out? Please give me somebody new. No fixer. I don't want to see the fixer right now. Please. <laughs> the protester. Somebody got something to say. Somebody wants to speak the truth. Bring something to light. Protest has been coming out a lot. What else? What else are we working with? Ooh, I'm going to pull her out, but I got to be careful with her because she got the boobies. We got Carnal on the board. Okay. Sexy time. Is there a truth about some sexy time that needs to come out? Ooh, this might be juicy. What else? Give me one more so I can cover up this woman's boobies. Somebody feeling themselves. What's this? Ooh, look at that. Okay. We got some new energy on the board. The protester, the carnal, and the eye. Eyes all seeing eye. That's pretty self-explanatory. Whatever truth that needs to come out, the eye already sees it. And then you got this this lady and her boobies. This lady that's feeling herself. You got the protector on the bottom. Messages. Okay, let's see what this is about. Yay, new cards, new 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 guiding cards. The the freaking fixer and the conductor getting on my nerves. If you look at my other reads, you understand what I'm talking about. Anyways, what's in the energy right now? I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep rocking out with this seven cards. That's what it's telling me to do. I'm gonna switch it up soon though, but Okay, we'll take it. This is what's moving out. Ooh, we got... Let me cover her up. Hopefully we won't get flagged for that. Energy that's moving out is judgment, six of cups in the world. Oh, we got Libra... Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, with the world, Six of Cups, so, Judgment, there's a crossroads, there's a, there's a, there's a change. I guess I should cover up these booties too, huh? Let's do it with this card. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to see that that's judgment. Hopefully I won't get flagged, man. I don't know how that shit works. Anyways, I ain't here trying to offend nobody. So, something from the past. This is a past position too. This is what's moving out. Something from the past might have come to completion is a wrap, right? There's a switch up. Judgment was a change.
We'll see. We'll see what it is. That's what it's looking like. You got two major arcana in the first position. That's 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 heavy. So whatever this 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 person from the past, relationship, friendship, somebody that known you a long, long, long time. That's the six of cups. It's kind of like come full circle, come cycle is complete, as they want to say. Okay, and there's judgment on it. Oh, okay. I'm looking over here, too. There's a truth. There's a truth about something from the past. It's probably a relationship with this carnal lady out here. It's probably not just a friend. And that cycle is complete. Now, whether it starts all over again, and I'm not going to use these terms, karmic people, like, oh, my gosh, I'm just burnt out on it. <laughs> Queen of Cups as the current situation uh, whomever this read is for you're in a nurturing energy you're coming out of something you're coming out of some relationship or some connection with somebody from the past that's known you a long time but you're not you're not scorned you're not burned you're not you know you, you're healing. You're coming. You you still got your emotions intact. Okay, so this is probably for feminine energy out here. Real talk. Because you got the carnal lady and then you got the queen of cups. They're not the same person. Well, they're the same person, but they're, they're two different aspects. They're, there's two different things going on here. There's some kind of truth. Some kind of truth about sex. Some kind of truth about sexuality. Some kind of truth. And there's some kind of overview that needs to be seen. Let's keep it moving. What's, what's hiding? Healing. This card, in this deck though, this is like resting, but she don't look restful. She's stressed out. She laid out and stressed out. We'll find out more about that. That's a healing card, though. That's a healing card. But this rest, go, this, this is what's hiding is rest and thinking. I think this is more of a thinking, like kind of mulling over something, trying to fix something in your mind, trying to make peace with it. recovery but this this these two are both healing cards so whatever this was had had some some effect waiting for this truth to come out what's the truth i'm looking for a truth that's been seen possibly not by this this person probably about this i look at this with this this eye over here What's the real judgment of the situation? Anyway, what's the block? What's the block? Ten of Cups is the block, huh? This could also be like your ancestors might have stopped something. Because these are like, you know, these are the spirits that kind of look over you. It can be seen as that. And this could also be like, the, that's the Ten of Cups, that's the fairy tale card. Happy family, happy relationship, happy house, two, 1.2 kids, right? But it's in an obstacle position. This also can be seen as your family blocking. You know, you might be in a situation where your family is causing more problems and then they're solving. That's your obstacles. Let's see what's in what's what's around you. Who okay, we got the five of swords and the seven of pentacles. Ah. <sighs> 
I think, okay. That five of swords is not, it's, it's never really something you want to see in a read. But the fact that it's in reverse. It's like it's something, it's reflecting on something that happened. Or something happened that's not forgotten. This is in your environment though. This is what surrounds you. <sighs> what is this? Five of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. This is this is like the fight card, but it's no fighting. The fighting stops around you. It's also kind of a regret card. They may you may be in an environment and this may have to do with your family that are regretting drama, conflict, problem, right? Because here, it's like overcoming, overcoming a problem. So in your environment, you know, there's some, some regret with the people in your environment who very well may be your family. And whoever you are in your healing and coming out of something, still a loving person, still nurturing and kind of finding your peace with it and taking your rest, that's set an example for these people to, to have a different perspective as far as you're concerned. Or that makes you look, that gives you a different look to, to people around you. It, it kind of reflects your fortitude, your resiliency. Whereas it doesn't seem, it seems like people want to look at you sideways for whatever reason. Put it where it fits. If it don't, if it don't fit, don't force it. This ain't, everything ain't for everybody. Ooh, we got the five pentacles. Yeah. That's, a, that's how you move. That's supposed to be like how you're supposed to deal with stuff. This is just, you know something? This is family. See, you got your family blocking you here. And then you got like you coming through something or it's like a conflict, a problem kind of moving through past a problem with your environment. And this is family. And you know something? You have to realize they don't have your back. They don't care. That's, that's, and you, and, and you're going to be making it known. You, it, it's going to be clear to other people outside of your family or part of, there's a truth in knowing that your family ain't your people's. That's what that is. 
you do have other you have other protectors you got spirit guides whatever you got loved ones that have passed on from this family that keep an eye out for you but these people ain't your people and they starting to realize they was wrong that's where this six of cups is coming from yeah this is your family or who you consider your family or who you've been close to for a long time like even if it's not your blood relatives and you don't deal with them or whatever, you have another group, this is who you consider your family as well, who you consider close to you. There's judgment called on that, and it's a wrap. That's why this, because this is this is how you're supposed to deal with the situation. You suppose, you got to recognize, now where does this carnal lady come from, though? We'll find out. Where does this carnal lady come from? I think the carnal lady too is confidence. Like being comfortable in her skin. Because the best course of action is to realize that means your people, you out in the cold. <laughs> and you need to move as such. What's the outcome before I clarify these cards? This is interesting. I didn't expect this to go this direction. I was hoping for a love reading. Ooh, the star. We like the star. Ooh, that's that real healing. Gotta cover her though because she got all kind of stuff popping out. The star. There's something here because here's another thing. On this world card, let's see if I could pull her out without showing nothing. The world card, you got a naked lady. The star card, you got a naked lady. And the carnal, you got a naked lady, right? This is definitely a read for a feminine or a woman. Um, that's being comfortable in yourself and not allowing what's outside of you, not allowing what you put on, not a that not allowing your clothes, what you have, who got your back. That's like walking in your own skin. She popping up three times on the board. Star card, we got, uh, what is this? Aquarius energy out here. All right, let's clarify. Let's see what this is boiling down to. Yeah, there's some kind of judgment now. This could be a family that you created too. Like this could be like husband type thing, your 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 own nuclear family. But th this family is not is not what it is. That's another thing. It could be that could be another thing too. This doesn't necessarily for some people. This is going to be your family, like your mom, your brother, your sister. For other people, this is your family, your husband, your kids type of the family that you've made for yourself. For other people, it's going to be. The family that you chose. For whoever it is, though, these are this these are people, and it's probably one specific person, almost like a ringleader. Why am I getting that? Like there's one specific person tied to this group of people that you consider family, or your family, or the family you created, right? And there's judgment on them. There's something underneath that whatever you're going through is the truth that makes it clear what's been going on. And I think part of your healing is figuring out how you need, how you're going to be able to speak on it. How are you going to speak on what's right? That star is a good look. That's a good look. That's nice to see out here. It's a little, it's kind of sad. This is kind of sad because it's just like, you know, who you, 
believed to have your back, who's supposed to be supportive, these are not your people. That's a hard pill to swallow, right? However, it's a good look. It's going to help you kind of step into something. Okay, what's this clarifier for the Six of Cups, the world, the judgment? Anything else we need to know about that? Seven of Cups. There's no illusion about it. There's no illusion. There's no choice in this situation. It is what it is. I'm only pulling one card for that because that's what's, that's the energy that's moving out. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Tell me some more about what's happening now. Two of Swords. Two of Swords reversed. Tell me more. Let me put these down here. Page. This is not really so, so good for this Queen of Cups. This is bad news. going the wrong way. I'm going to pull another one. So you got the Queen of Cups, which is a he really good card to have. It's a card of healing and, be, and, and keeping your emotions, your heart stable. But this is bad news, so... It's some bad news and moving in the wrong direction that's got you in your feelings. Bad news and going the wrong direction for this Queen of Cups. Tell me more about this. Give me another card, please. What else? Close out a cycle. You don't want to hear it no more. And you're not going that way because you know you're out here by yourself. This is this is just like the world card. It's, that's a wrap. It's closing out a cycle. And it also is the betrayal card. But I like it on this deck because it's kind of like, you know what? I'm moving on. I'm walking away from this. I turn my back on you all. That goes with this. Tell me... Tell me about this Four of Swords and this hiding, hiding, hiding. <sighs> hiding your recovery, hiding your thinking about this stuff. You're not, you're thinking about this stuff and you're not making it clear to the people around you that this is what you're going through or this is that you're recovering from something. Cause like I said, this is some sort of family situation. Tell me more about this Four Swords. Nine of Swords. Psst. Nine of Swords is like letting it stress you out. It's keeping you up at night. Going over and over and over and over. What I like about this Nine of Swords, though, is that I always see these crows... And just like in this one, it's like the crows is keeping a blindfolded and bound. But the crows, I look at the crows as your inner guidance, your intuition. But this is like being up, this is keeping you up at night. You stressed out about it. It's you in your head. And look, it's the same thing here. And you're keeping this hidden. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. No balance. 
No balance. Tell me more. Sagittarius on the board. who this is for but you must feel like you in a really bad situation because this is like I'm seeing it for what it is I'm getting my mind right and I'm doing this in silence like it's almost like you wear, you probably put on a mask around, with the people around you because you're, you're dealing with how to rectify the situation but on your own and you keeping that, keeping that shit low-key. Moving silently. All right, well, it is what it is. What's this Ten of Cups in what's blocking you? What's this? Tell me more about this Ten of Cups. I see now I'm going to start getting... I'm getting agitated because I see, I see this is, fuck these people. <laughs> fuck these people. This right here, fuck these people. What is this? What are they doing? Why are they blocking? Mm. Got Scorpio on the board. For some, this is not for everybody. There could be a there could have been a death in your family. Meaning already. Or there there's a death in the family currently. Or something to that effect. Because that will have your family acting fucking crazy. Real talk. That could have, that, people don't know how to act when somebody dies. And my condolences, and I'm not wishing this on, and I'm, I can't say that that's a prediction that for some people that will resonate. But this is also, hmm. This with the Ten of Cups, too, is just like. It just, I keep hearing your family ain't shit. That's what I just keep hearing. Your family ain't shit. Fuck them people. Word. That's what, that's. Give me another one. Please. What else? Keep hearing your family ain't shit. And they know it. Look at this. Five of Wands. Competition. You know, that's like the sparring. Your fam All I'm going to say is your family ain't shit. I'm putting that shit in the title too. Your family ain't shit. Tell me about this Five of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm, this is, I'm, you have to feel confident in your skin. You're around people that want to make you feel like you're not who you are or you ain't shit. They trying to make you feel like you're not shit, but they the ones that's not shit because it's not just one person. It's a group of people and you spent time trying to figure out, you know, you're trying to figure yourself out. You're trying to figure out, you know, what is it about me that's the problem, Right? But look at this. Got the five of wands and the five of swords. Fuck out of here, yo. Tell me about this five of swords and the seven of pentacles. Fuck is this? Winning. Winning. They just your audience. I'm going to keep it moving. I like that. That's a good look. They just your audience. Oh. 
you know what it is, but you you keep blocking yourself from that. You keep blocking yourself from what you see. You keep telling yourself, oh, but this is my family. Oh, but these people care about me. Oh, these people got my back. No, they fucking don't. You, you know otherwise. You know you out here by yourself. But you just keep trying to reconfigure that. Tell me, tell me, give me something else. Because I'm done with this. You're not learning. You're not learning. You're not learning and you're not really paying attention to what you need to be paying attention to. And this is how you move in. Like, this is what you need to change. Give me another one. Queen of Wands reverse. Mmm. Queen of Wands reverse. The first thing I could, mm, I don't want to tell nobody to be grimy. I keep, I hear you. You gotta get grimy with it. I think that's what's got you stressed out, fighting fire with fire. Let's keep it moving. Now I don't want to go down that route. I'm not telling nobody to be grimy with it, but that's that's what I hear. What is the star, King of Wands? Put the King of Wands over this lady. King of Wands. The final outcome. For some people, you might have somebody step in your life that makes you feel comfortable in your skin. That's for some people. For other people, you're going to feel comfortable in your skin and that's going to give you the confidence. That's going to be the healing that gives you the confidence to deal with these people that ain't shit. It's, this is, this is, because they realize, they, see this, this shit right here? They watch you bounce back. And I think they're feeling guilty. I think there's, I think, I think there is, and, and to be fair, you decide how much you want to forgive if people are going to come. You're going to win regardless. You're winning. They're watching you win. This is your environment. They're like, oh, snap. They bouncing back. Even though we've been bringing this shit to them. Even though we've been treating them whatever which way. Right? Here, look. Temp this right here. And like I said, for some, they, you may have had a death in the family. Or there may be a death in the family, and that's going to make people act the fuck up. Right? But if you step into, if you, if you use this, keep the love in your heart. Realize that things are coming full cycle. Yeah, this is a wrap. We're done with this right here. I'm going to leave it with this King of Wands. Because this King of Wands could be somebody stepping into your life to help, to, to help you see yourself. To be able to shed a, a, a light of truth on the people around you, right? That's for some. And for some, this is you. This is you gaining that confidence to see it for what it is and to, to be like, fuck y'all. Straight up, fuck all y'all. <laughs> because this judgment out here and this shit is a wrap. It's not an illusion anymore. Oh, boy. I'm going to pull some oracles for this. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. They're going to get this. This judgment on them. They're going to get the And they seeing it too. And you going to this. This and this. This is like the star. 
right? But you got to stay clear. You got to stay clear and pay attention. Learn your lesson, right? And get a little grimy. I, I keep hearing, I, I don't like to give that advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> Where this bond? I'll come back talking about, I did this and this and this and this. I don't got no comments anyway, so you can't come for me. Whatever. What's the oracle? What's, what's, give, me, give me one oracle card for this. Shelter. Shelter. Whoever you live with. Whoever you live with. That's all I'm going to say about that. Give me one more. Whoever you live with. People around you. People you think is your family. People you think that you that love you. You love them. You need to change that. However, However that works for you. Because that's not your shelter. That's not your shelter. What is it? The ordinary. This was reverse. The ordinary. It's not ordinary. It's not what it seems. It looks normal and regular from the outside, but you got all this other stuff going on on the inside. Shelter in the ordinary, in unordinary. Your home is not, your home is unordinary. It's not normal. Let's get you some advice. I want the number cards. Let's see what the number cards got to say. I am positive. Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you where you are manifesting your inner desires. That has to do with these people, this up here, these cups up here. And keeping that love, keeping a loving heart. I'll give for one more. 77. I am brave. It's time to move on from the old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. That's what I was telling you. Right? Good luck, y'all. I hope this helps.